Are you going to eat it? Yeah, why not? Go for it. You want to try one? Yeah. Mm. Everybody, you're welcome. These are poison berries. <laughs> <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> One thing Alex and I always look forward to when returning home to the UK is cider, that beautiful golden nectar. The UK drinks more cider per capita than any other country in the world. And in the UK, it's most commonly associated with the West Country. In turn, when our American friends Josh and Ashley came to visit us in Somerset, a trip to our favorite cider producer was a must. Thatcher's is somewhat of an institution here in Somerset, and they have been making delicious ciders since 1904. Thatcher's is a family-run business, but their cider can be found in supermarkets all around the UK and abroad. We went on a tour to learn about the history of Thatcher's, as well as to learn about the different varieties of apples and the process that goes into making a pint of the good stuff. Autumn is a great time to do this as it's that apple harvesting season, but make sure you book in advance, especially for the weekend tours. Also, we would just like to point out that this isn't a paid endorsement for Thatcher's, we just really like their cider. So what goes into making it? First, apples are delivered from the orchards to the apple bays. The quality of the apples are tested and if they're good enough, they get washed and pressed into juice. The juice is then stored in tanks and fermented, turning the sugar into alcohol. The cider is then matured in oak vats for around six weeks to enhance the flavor and is tasted daily by the cider makers until they say it's ready to be packaged and sold, which is where we come in. We cannot have a couple of Americans coming all the way to Somerset without enjoying the golden nectar of the apples here that we have. We have come here to Thatcher's. Well, actually we've come here to the Railway Inn, which is the pub right next to the Thatcher's shop, um, to sample and taste a few of the ciders on offer. This is their cider menu, so it is quite extensive. It's not your usual one or two options. They have quite a lot on offer. You can get halves or four pints, but what we have gone for is the flight. So we've gone for three, I'm guessing that one third of a pint for each, and it's five pounds for three. So we've got a bit of a variety. Ashley's gone for some of the sweeter ciders. Mm -hmm. Josh has gone for some of the little stronger, sort of more uh, dry ciders. They are also making a video today about their cider experience. So if you want to see their reactions to all of the different ciders, here go and check out their channel we will leave a link in the description below i think i actually should be a brand ambassador for that just because <laughs> i do sort of champion them pretty much everywhere i go and so my understanding that in america cider doesn't mean the same thing here can you just enlighten me exactly what cider means yeah to you guys so um, unless you're very cultured obviously mm -hmm. cider is basically <laughs> Which no just... american ever is. no 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 okay just a joke he's not even started the cider uh. yet <laughs> But basically, cider in America is pressed apple juice. Usually, um, traditionally, it would be done in like a mill press, like mm -hmm. you squish it all down. Uh, it's just pressed apple juice, and then um, sometimes you'll have some spices mixed in with it. Mm -hmm. um, if you did like an apple cider around Thanksgiving, there might be um, some cinnamon and a few other little spices. And it's kind of like a mold hot. cider. Yeah, mold yeah. yeah. You had mold yeah. cider before. Uh, we do yeah. have mold cider, but that's like that's heavier on the spices. So it's interesting. Uh. Like there's a very thin line between mold cider and cider. Okay. Um, but alcoholic cider is becoming more popular mm. and so now if someone was to ask for a cider mm. they would you'd kind of know that you're wanting alcoholic so one they would clarify yeah probably. but it would depend on the context of the conversation yeah, yeah. totally yeah i doubt anybody would ask for apple cider though like mm, yeah it's mm. just not that common unless it's fall like it, it's a very seasonal okay. drink yeah, you only have sure. it at this time of year in mm -hmm. the fall when you go to like the pumpkin patch or go um to the um corn maze when you go to the pumpkin patch yeah, as, you, as you do as you do it's amazing i love traditional things during seasons uh -huh. and that's totally what cider is to me awesome yeah. as a big cider drinker i thought we would go for three ciders that i've never tried before it goes from dry to sweet that's the barman's favorite rascal Rascal. What's this one? Rosé. Rosé. <laughs> I would never have chosen this. Emma went in and bought them. Rosé. <laughs> never tried it. And lemon, is that right? A cloudy lemon, yeah. I mean, there's a debate in the cider world it's when it comes to the sweetness of it. Like, it's quite easy to dismiss a cider that's really sweet. Basically not cider. So... Taste it first, mate, and then complain. I know, I don't like it. <laughs> Go in close-minded. And then if you change it, great. Okay, first one. 
That just tastes like a classic cider to me. A bit dry, a little bit flat when you drink it, very apple-y. If you want to hear outrageously good descriptions of cider, watch their video. I couldn't <laughs> say all these words that are coming out of their mouths. Amazing. <laughs> to the sweet one though. Rosé. That's not cider. <laughs> it's like a copper bag or something. Yeah, it's so easy to drink. So easy. That's my oh, wow. favorite. I love that one. I guess it just means like, it's like a juice. It is. So I guess you can... Yeah. I think it's 4% alcohol, so I'm pretty sure it's the lowest of what they have. But that one, delicious. Yes, yeah, so this is kind of like the alcohol pop of the, <laughs> of the cider world. I couldn't order this around my mates because they would be <laughs> laughing at me. It's like ordering apple teeny or something around a bunch of rugby lads. But extremely delicious. Nothing wrong with an apple teeny. <laughs> oh, the lemon. Really? You didn't like the lemon. No, yeah, not a, but anything lemony tastes like um, cleaner to me, like mm. house cleaner. <laughs> I've been chugging too much house cleaner. <laughs> oh, it's just the smell. It always brings back those memories of coming home from school, my house smelling like Lysol. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Does it taste like cleaner or is it nice? It's really nice. It's just, it's hard for me as someone who loves cider so much mm. and I'm kind of in the posh cider mm -hmm. realm. You're a cider knob. I'm a cider snob, <laughs> <laughs> at least. And so I would say like this, these are two different drinks in my... Oh, he's too good for the fruity ones. For them. But they are really nice. But if you're having this, you haven't had a cider. Yeah. Oh. Ah, then I guess I haven't had a cider because that's all I got. Yeah, off camera, Ashley tried this dry cider and she was like, Ugh. <laughs> You haven't had a cider. I'm going to gatekeep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this one's mine. This one's yours. Oh, okay. That's fine. I get two, you get one. Thank you. Every good Brit out there knows that pubs and countryside walks go hand in hand and we just so happen to be situated right next to the Strawberry Line. So the Strawberry Line is a very famous walk here in Somerset, which used to be a railroad line. But during the 60s, there was a much more extensive rail network here in England. They basically ripped up all of the ones to these smaller villages like here in Sanford. And now instead of it being used for the railway, it's used as a bunch of public footpaths that connect a lot of these small villages together. And it's just a really nice way to spend a day. I have heard about this since I was a little kid and I have never done it. Something so great about having people to come and stay with you is you get to to see your local environment with fresh eyes and actually kind of force you to get out and do something that you plan to do for a long time. Are you gonna eat it? Yeah, why not? Go for it. You wanna try one? Yeah. Mm. Everybody, you're welcome. These are poison berries. <laughs> <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> Uh, uh. One less competition in the travel. Yeah. <laughs> Come to us, subscribers from the way away. <laughs> oh, that's good. That is delicious. It's a blackberry. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go on, can, you, can you get me one? Yeah, like, I would never do this. Hold on, let me get one way from up here. Way too small. It needs to be in the sun. Let, I'll just get one of these. It's better. Mm. There you go. There's no sour on that, just sweet and delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are, they're not like open. Grabs up. They're just about perfect. Maybe like one more week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. I've literally never done that in my life before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're good with poison! <laughs> what am I going to do with three dead bodies? <laughs> That's what the subscribers always wanted to see, wasn't it? <laughs> so as we were saying before, the strawberry line was like an old railway line. And this is an old platform, so you can actually see like the risen bit behind where people would have been waiting for the train, which is now footpath. From Sanford, we come to the next village along, which is called Winscombe. And I think we're going to wander into the village and see if we can find ourselves another cider. we made our way to the Thatcher's shop and we did a little bit of shopping we got we got a few little treats for ourselves chilling in the fridge and one of the things that we bought was this which is the family reserve sparkling apple wine so Alex's 
parents actually introduced us to this uh, a few days ago and we loved it so much that we decided to buy it again. It is amazing. It's exactly what you would expect to be half champagne, half cider meeting mm. in the middle. <laughs> How was your first day in the UK? Absolutely great. I don't, I don't know that we could have had a better day. The sun's been <laughs> fabulous. We yeah. had a full, what, 15 degrees or something? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We had pancakes yeah, yeah. as well. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. If you like the video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And... next time on Travel Beans. Okay, okay, number two. Do you know what a plonker is? My but first thought was like a poop. Like, you're gonna <laughs> go take a plonker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I prefer that meeting, to be honest. Like, drop the kids off at the pool. <laughs> or like, see a man about a bingo. Oh, <laughs> or whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. A plonker. Amazing. It's a great I'm gonna go take a plonker. <laughs>